welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 13 October 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter writes that electric vehicles are coming, but can South Africa's power grid support this rapidly rising technology? Whether South Africans like it or not, electric vehicles, those zero emission vehicles that must be plugged in to run, are coming. And the question foremost in the minds of most potential EV buyers in South Africa seems to be whether the local power grid will be able to allow for the repeated and reliable charging of EVs. The engineering news features focus on Transport Month, where a railway project is midway to completion. And Pumps, where a family-owned business pioneers pumping solutions for four decades. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in West Africa, where a gold major highlights its regional commitment. And Motors drives a mechanical power transmission, where a local agitator order is a world first for a global drive engineer. This week's business leader is Andrew Middleton, the CEO and co-founder of solar subscription company GoSolar. And as this week's cartoon shows, a 10-year review of the National Development Plan, which was officially launched in August 2012, will unsurprisingly confirm that just about every target that the plan hoped to achieve will be missed. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.